Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for February 7th of 2024 is titled the Heart-Shaped Antennae Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, here we see not one galaxy, but two. So we two see two galaxies there, and these are two galaxies in the process of a collision. And you may see that they kind of form a heart at this point in the sky with a stream of stars coming out from each of these galaxies. Now galaxy collisions are not like anything we're used to here on Earth. We're used to thinking of a collision as two objects colliding and smashing together. What we have to remember in space is that galaxies are essentially empty space. So when the, when the galaxies collide, the stars pass right by each other. There is a lot of distance between stars relative to their size, and it would be very rare for a set of for a pair of stars to collide in a galaxy collision. However, what will collide are the gas clouds. Gas clouds are many times larger than stars and will collide with each other, enhancing the rate of star formation. And we can see that by looking at these galaxies, we see all of that enhanced dust where the dust has been concentrated, very deep blue from the blue of new stars that has been, has formed. And we note that this is much larger than we're used to looking at in a typical, say, spiral galaxy. And that's because the star formation rate has been enhanced and increased by this collision. So the star clouds and I'm sorry, the gas clouds colliding together will cause more stars to form. Now, while the stars will not collide, that doesn't mean that nothing changes for the stars. Their positions within the galaxies can change and streams of material can be expelled out as the galaxies collide. And we see that in the two tidal streams, one going out towards the lower left and one toward the upper right. That is material that has been torn away from these galaxies by their interacting gravitational fields. So while the stars themselves and the planetary systems are essentially unchanged during a galaxy collision, what they could be moved out of the galaxy altogether, depending on their positioning. Now what happens in the long run is that the two galaxies generally collide together. Now that does depend on the very specifics of the collisions and how fast they are moving. But in general, the collision will occur and will merge into much, uh, much a larger galaxy. So what happens is we have two galaxies and we will eventually have one galaxy. The other thing we have to remember is the amount of time that this takes. A collision of galaxies does not take place instantaneously, but may take billions of years. So a collision like this that may have begun a billion years ago, maybe another billion or two years from now, we will see just one galaxy having settled back down. Likely our galaxy has gone through collisions like this in the distant past and will again in the future, as it is currently estimated that it will collide with the Andromeda galaxy in another 5 billion years or so. So that was our picture of the day for February 7th of 2024. It was titled the heart shaped antennae galaxies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.